Yo, what's going on guys? Balling Games 03 checking in and I know I haven't brought you guys a gameplay in a while. It's been literally a week or two since I did a gameplay. You know, I just haven't got my time to edit and commentate over them. So starting this week, as you see we got a pick, but starting this week I will try to bring you at least one gameplay once every day so that way I can get through all this old fit footage that I have of my old team and trust me there are some big big lineup updates coming up soon I got a couple nice snipes flipped them made some coins and made a lot of new additions to the team and you're just gonna be surprised on how far we were able to go and maximize our coins and see how much we got so let's jump right into this gameplay right here. You see that we've converted defense into points. That's what you want to do. And this guy really loved his play action. Like literally he just kept doing play action every single time. And you see he makes really nice pickups and reads every single time. Finally he dumps it down. But we do have that run covered. So now he does run that screen. And he does get a nice pickup of 9. And he finally dumps it up. As you see we have the run covered. It's just a play action that's bothering us. Right there, he did manage to get a nice pickup. Second and five. Right here, we stuff him on the line. Derek Johnson, man. And he runs that counter play, that one of the overpowered plays in the run game. That strong power and buck sweep, of course. Man, those are some overpowered play. Hopefully, they get fixed in Madden 15. If they do, they should definitely not be that overpowered. It's just the pulling guards are so crazy. Like, if you have fast pulling guards... It's pretty much at least a first down every single time you run that play. So right here, we you see that we're at 7-14. to 14. There's only a couple minutes, seconds left. And Jonathan Joseph, my new pickup, gets burnt. But pretty much you'll see, you'll see that he's going to be off the team in a couple more games. It's just that he hasn't been performing to his potential. So I just go ahead and sell him. I don't know why, but he was not playing that great. I think his press wasn't that great. I don't know what was wrong with him, but he just kept getting burnt, even though he had the speed. And he was a little tall. I forget how tall. I think it was like 5'11". Correct me if I'm wrong. But right here, with time running out in the second half, you already know we have Reggie Bush returning kicks. And there you go. We hop over the end zone. Look at Reggie Bush do his signature dance, whatever that thing is. I don't even know what that is. That really creeps me out. I don't understand what that is. Like, whoever the man developers are, I just want to know why they added that dance. And he always does that. Is it just him that does that dance? That dance is really weird. But it's all right. Because I love it. <laughs> but anyways, right here, it's second and five. We do get the ball back. So that's a plus plus for us. And Tony G showing off his strength right there. And now, once again, we hit him on the out route. One yard left. And we get sacked. So it's seven. Or on the seven. And we do get one more pickup right here. And Tony G drops the ball. And I'm going for on fourth and down. But he stops. Oh, oh, my God. He just stopped the QB sneak. So, hopefully, we can get a nice sack right here. But Jonathan Joseph gets burnt again. Yeah, yeah. He's getting off the team. He's definitely being off the team. And right here, he runs the screen. But we did put a QB contain right there to stop it. So, right here, he's sticking that stick and nod. And that should have been pass interference. But... I guess it was tipped, so I guess you could do that. But right here, we get a nice sack. So he's doing play action once again. Fourth and 22. And Jonathan Joseph. Oh, my God. What is up with Jonathan Joseph? He just kept getting burnt and burnt and burnt. Literally, I did not understand. I was so frustrated with him. I didn't even impress him, and he still managed to bite on that play action every single time. And now I'm showing kickoffs once again. And look at T.Y. Hill and bounce it to the outside uses speeds and we got the afterburners but right here we do get managed to get picked up Troy Palomalu bounces off the end zone I mean off the sideline so right here we're doing a play action and Vernon Davis gets wrecked oh my god he as it is he already drops balls when he's wide open and just imagine he's gonna have a hard time catching in traffic but that is the 89 Vernon Davis so what can you expect I just have him for speed and good blocking that's pretty much why Right here, we managed to do a good dump off to Tony G. And once again, we give him a toast, taste of his own medicine. And Tony G is getting a couple reps in right here. So we run that stick once again, Tony G, but he's dropping it. And now you're seeing the tiredness. But we hit him with Victor Cruz. And I decide to try to clock since it's 21-21. So we're going to clock it. And right here, we give it to Tony G, who manages to get into the end zone. Man, 
we are good we're looking good and we go for two and we do get that that stick route cannot be stopped guys it cannot be stopped run that run that just go ahead and run that for me right here he runs a screen and he gets a nice pickup and Jonathan Joseph does manage to tackle him at least a game saving tackle otherwise that could have been all the way so he goes with this play action right here and Jonathan Joseph way to make it up buddy way to make it up but man I'm still selling him I don't care he got burned three times gave me a heart attack and yeah I don't like that so right here we're just just wasting clock and right here the game's over 21 29 look at Josh Gordon but anyways guys if you enjoyed this quick gameplay stick around and until next time guys I'm out see ya